Hey everyone, it's me Suchita. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about the topic like, you know, you all are asking uh, Suchita, if what, uh, like, you know, how to handle a situation when the school is asking ki chalo bhai, abhi you have to give the demo. Give me a 10-15 minute demo of any topic you want to teach. So how to handle such a situation? Let me tell you some tricks and the things which really work for me. So all these things I'm going to discuss in this video. If you're new to the channel do consider subscribing and if you have already subscribed to the channel thank you so much for supporting this teacher community let's make it stronger day by day so without any delay let's start today's video first tip is prepare three topics now what is that see for example you are looking for a job switch you are looking for an increment you want to change the organization what you need to do when you start looking for the interviews when you start looking for the jobs you started uh, like you know applying for to the institutions then that time you need to prepare three topics for example you are a social science teacher prepare one history topic one economics one political like that three topics you prepare if you are a maths teacher prepare one geometry or maybe you know better differentiation or integration like you know in, in which you can uh, target the different different areas of maths the maths teacher can tell this in a better way if you are a science teacher like me you prepare one chemistry topic one physics topic on one biology topic so like that you need to keep why because this will bring a confidence maybe that person uh, there is like you know you are a science teacher they will ask okay suchita uh, explain a uh, five minute uh, physics topic so you must not feel lost like you know what to do because i have prepared a chemistry topic so in that way you just cover all the areas possible in your subject and at least prepare three to four topics when you start looking or hunting for a job next one is keep a preparation of starter activities in your bag now what is that see uh, you are going for an interview and you have a thing like you know they may ask for an on the spot demo so what you need to do you always keep some things handy in your bag and what all these stuff are first the sticky notes you see the those color uh, sticky notes i'll attach a picture here these one you can use in many where like you know think share and pair activity in which you will ask the students to uh, like you know discuss and write down something or maybe you can use as a vocabulary starter you ask these are the five vocabulary words i'm going to teach you today and you just uh, like you know tick the or write the number how many you know already and how many at the end of the lesson you will learn this you can use even with the management not only necessary students are required even if the management is sitting you just give the sticky notes and ask them to start this activity you can, second thing is you can keep the uh, pencil color pencil with you maybe you are going to teach a topic of classification segregation dividing the thing into parts so that time making groups that kind of topic so you keep the pencils and uh, like you know the color pencil and uh, use them uh, like you know as a you can say to give examples apart from that keep some colored paper with you because maybe you will uh, like you know divide groups and you give some activities the topic which you are preparing keep the activity ready and try to uh, like you know keep if this topic will come i will use this starter activity if this topic will come i will use this starter activity so that's how you can use the colored paper apart from that keep some pen or pencils like you ask them to draw something quickly as an activity or print some worksheet keep it with your in your bag magnets you can you can keep anything you like you know just you put because the um, boards are magnetic so uh, any child worksheet you like you can just paste it, paste it there over with the help of the board magnet so all these things you keep handy and have a presence of mind to use in those topics which you have prepared already because to, see if they are asking you on the sport demo they are not expecting much from you <coughs> and if you are able to deliver that much with that much presence of mind they will really get impressed with you third one is carry an exit ticket printed format with you now if you go to google and type exit uh, ticket you will get many like you know a different kind of format you can use anyone maybe like right, uh, this exit ticket basically we are going to use at the end of the lesson as a feedback okay you have finished 10 minute lesson they will say okay suchita stop here so you say okay okay wait wait i want to take a feedback on my lesson so give the exit ticket to them even though management 
गिव इट टू दैम स्टूडेंट बैठे हैं तो और भी अच्छा है गिव इट टू द स्टूडेंट्स ना वट इज एग्जिट टिकट एग्जिट टिकट इज लाइक राइट थ्री वोकेबलरी वर्ड यू न्यू वोकेबलरी वर्ड यू हैव लर्न इन टूडेज लेसन और ड्रॉ अ माइंड मैप ऑफ टूडेज क्लास और मे बी ड्रॉ अ पिक्चर विच एक्सप्लेन टूडेज टॉपिक समथिंग और राइट हाउ वॉज टूडेज लेसन is it what was the standard it was difficult it was easy it was interactive so these are the way the teacher is taking the feedback so even the management bhi baithi hai you provide them the exit ticket ask them to fill it see they must know what all you can do in your class and how much like you know presence of mind and confidence you have to do such things with the even the management is sitting in front of you fourth one is keep a track of the time see i'll tell you a short thing see even i have attended many interviews with the management now we know the tricks so see if the students are there in the class so definitely they are going to ask you uh, 35 to 40 minutes whatever is the period they have in their school they will ask you to teach that much and if they don't have students in their class only management is there so they will ask you to explain maximum 10 to 15 minutes they will not listen to you more than that so you need to use your mind like you know the days you are going for the uh, interview is are these the working days are the students available in school or uh, this is like you know the holidays or summer break is going on and there is no student there in the school so that's how you prepare like you know you need to deliver a 35 to 40 minute lesson or you need to deliver a 15 to 20 or make maximum 20 otherwise 10 minute only the management will keep you now last bonus tip what will i say that see they need the subject teacher so they don't have the subject teacher in their school so mostly the teacher who is going to sit in your class will not be the best one to judge you for your subject knowledge so be like a lion be like a, a tigress and be the queen and king of your class and explain with the whole confidence even though they cross question and you don't know any question just say i will check about it and i will come back to you so i even though you go out check that question quickly think about it. and come back and answer that it's totally fine to say such things do not lose confidence and say do not like you know be silent that you are not able to handle we are not perfect we are teachers we are it's completely fine to say that you don't know that thing and you have to check it out after the class because at last we are the human being so i hope i'm able to help i'm able to clear the doubt which you were asking for and if you like the video what's your reason give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel support the teacher community hashtag teacher community let make it stronger day by day that's all have a nice day bye bye